What is going on? My name is Brian Bauer, and today we are gonna be checking out some Diesel Paul pro Camper Profiles by Guido Bungenstock on, of course, my Camper Profiler. Anyway, so these are called Diesel Poly, and like I said, they're based on the Diesel Paul, and I think these are sounding super awesome. Anyway, um, just to let you guys know, we are actually well over the 500 sus subscriber point at this time. So if you are watching these videos, uh, click the subscribe button. Let's grow the channel. Now let's get straight to it. So today I'm going to be using, be using my Solar A17D seven string guitar with Duncan Solar pickups. I'm going to be using a Stone Age pick, probably around the three millimeter thickness made of agate stone. We're gonna be using the Kemper straight into the Focusrite Scarlet 2i4. And yeah, basically, there you go. There's my single chain. Pretty simple, nothing crazy. So I figured it was time to bring the seven string back to the channel. So like the last profiles I demoed on here by uh, uh, Guido, I'm sorry, I'm probably saying your name completely wrong as per usual because I suck at that. Um, these are actually merged profiles, which some are merged with the DI and some are going to be without the DI. So M is merged and S is just the regular amp. So I don't know how to describe it. So go to the description below. I'll have a copy and paste it in the description. Pretty simple. Anyway, let's get straight to it. Now there's a lot of profiles in this pack. I'm only gonna go through a handful of the presets. So it starts off from number one with the gain pretty much maxed right out. And as we go through it, the gain's gonna go down a little bit. Nevermore's hard to play, what can I say? So that was uh, Diesel Poly 01 without, it's not the merged one, it's just the uh, S profile, so gain is all the way up. But if you turn the delays on, he actually used some uh, Kemper effects for these. They actually sound pretty cool. <laughs> I think it sounds awesome. So let's go through, I think we will go through to number five. So the gain comes down a little bit here when I go to number five. So the gain now, instead of being up at 10, is down to six. So I'm not gonna go through all of them because I find the gains, like it's still pretty high gain and stuff going through there. So we're gonna turn the delay off. So this is number five. <laughs> And here we go. This riff is actually from the Power Metal Riff Battle Part 1. I used this seven string for that, and I'm glad to have the seven string back on the channel. <laughs> I think that sounds pretty cool. I actually like it with the gain down some. It's really easy to get into this world of, let's play with the gain maxed out, because honestly, like in this diesel Paul, these profiles, they sound awesome. I would love to try the real amp. So, but let's go through to number seven. I particularly 
like number seven. We're gonna leave the delay on for this one. Um, and I'm gonna move to the middle position on this set of pickups here, uh, because I found it, it, this is where I can see the versatility of this. Not only is it a high gain amp, it also does really good for playing like some rock kind of stuff. Like. <laughs> I think that sounds pretty good for playing something like that. Now realize the EQ is all centered right here. So you can change the EQ to be whatever you want. So when they made these profiles, they just, I think what they did is was set the gain to the sweet spots. And then you have all the versatility with your EQ to change whatever you would like. So that's pretty sweet. Um, here's some, I like the lead for this. I think that sounds pretty cool. If we go to the neck pickup. I play that lick every time. I, I like that for a rock tone. I think that I could actually play that in a jam or something and be like, this sounds really awesome. I would definitely record with that setting itself. And now I'm going to go to the last one here that I want to actually show off, which is actually, it's the, it's the clean channel on this amp. And one thing that I really like about the clean channel on this, I, I played this in another video, and these Solar guitars sound awesome for playing cleans, but this particular clean tone, I find actually to be quite inspiring. So if I turn all the effects on that they have, which would be like, it has um, two delays and a chorus. So I think it sounds really awesome. Like this. No complaints about that. really like that clean tone. It really got that depth to it that. Oh yeah. Anyway guys, I think this is an absolutely killer profile pack. Um, talking to uh, Guido himself, I know this is one of his favorite amps that I think he's profiled, or at least it's one of his favorite profile packs to my knowledge. Anyway, uh, I really like it and I would highly recommend checking it out in the description below. I mean, it's for the price of like, what, a coffee or something a day to buy these things. So I highly recommend that if you got a camper, is putting them on there. I'd love to try the actual amp. So if anybody locally has one, uh, hit me up when the coronavirus is over. Maybe we'll give it a shot through the Harley Benton. By the way, these profiles, I have ran through my cab with V30s. I just don't have a mic right now. And it honestly, it sounds really good turning the cabinet simulator off over here and listening to it through that. It just got that oomph and it sounds awesome because this, this is a wicked metal amp. Guys, click the subscribe button. Click any of the links below. Uh, check out uh, Guido's uh, YouTube channel. Definitely go to guidarist.com to check out anything over there. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Have an awesome day and stay safe out there and practice your social distancing. We don't need to spread this COVID-19, Corona, Canola, Corolla, whatever the hell it is. It's disgusting and I don't want it. I don't want you to be giving it to anybody else. Have an awesome day and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace.